what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back yes attack on titan episode 11 of season 4 season 4 i'm discombobulated right now i'm i'm all over the place because i'm trying to get this done so i so i can go and do some streaming tonight and we're already late i'm already starting to do this reaction late um so thank you guys so much man for all the support on the attack on titan videos let me get that out of the way all right so aaron is getting <laughs> i don't even know what to say about him at this point it's just like you know at this point is it, it's like what do you expect from aaron you know what i'm saying like do you expect him to be the, the, the hero that he always was just screaming and just getting in but now he just he when he speaks you know what i'm saying like you're wondering if he's going crazy does he have an alternate plan the way how he handled hanji in that last episode man and and you just kind of brushed it off you know what i'm saying because i don't know if she was afraid of him i, I don't want to say he was but it kind of seemed that way a little bit you know what i mean like it kind of seemed that like she was a little bit scared of him and we know that angie it, you know what i'm saying like she's one of my favorite characters in the show um you know uh so so when it comes on to things that were revealed revealed that mikasa was royalty um and all this other stuff and then it ended with it seemed like zeke was chilling in the woods or something <laughs> With, uh, we know that Levi is watching him currently. I don't know if he's if he's gonna get to, um, I don't know if he's gonna get to see Aaron at some point, but we'll see. But we kind of got a flashback of you know what took place, you know years before of how how things how was it um, Yelena or Yelena, however you want to pronounce her name, right? Um, I think it's Yelena right so her whole perspective about everything and it, some things still seem kind of sketchy sometimes but you know it's just the tension in the ear in my opinion sometimes but we still keeping an eye on them because we don't know what these people have planned we really we we kind of know but we don't know because we we don't know if there's some extension to zeke's plan i don't know i just want to jump in and watch this episode Hope you guys are enjoying the reactions, man. Leave a like on the video, of course. If not now, when you come back. But I prefer if you do it right now. Okay? Let's go watch the episode. I will see you guys for the review. I know there's a lot of gabby defenders out there because they can relate and that's what makes the writing of the show so good that's what makes the writing of the show so good i appreciate it very much you know and i know there's a lot of gabby symp sympathizers out there but the, the, these two places marley paradise two sides of the same coin you get what i'm saying so when it, it it pisses me off that she can't get through her head that you attacked people these people were never bothering anybody other than they were just getting bodied by titans they weren't bothering they didn't even know you guys existed you get what i'm saying and whether or not you're going to talk about sins of forefathers and all of this other stuff and the history of 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 eldians and all of this other stuff have you forgotten that you're an eldian so you're telling me that the way how they punish you guys over in Marley is justified? That's how brainwashed Gabby is. Because she can't seem to wake up and understand both sides. It took one conversation for Falco to wake up, even though he wasn't so deep. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, he wasn't so deep in, in the trap. You know what I'm saying? But it took one conversation from Aaron for him to change his perspective on, on how he views things and how he views his own kind. And uh, listen, man, 
the reason why I say it, not only is Gabby annoying and I'm not upset at her I understand why she decided to go out there and just shoot people like I get it why she always want to kill these people I get it you understand and, and this girl I don't know her name right but she was asking some real questions here like what did my mom do this happened four this happened four years ago what does that have to do with my mom dying getting eaten by a titan what does that have to do with anything do you know that they were were injecting you your people turning them into titans and sending them over to paradise do you're just gonna omit all of that huh you're gonna omit all of that and talk about oh you don't escape your sins you have to bear the burden i guess she don't you see that's the thing about it she feels like because of what happened she deserves whatever marley if if, if marley wanna you know what i'm saying stomp her into the ground she's gonna take it because she deserves it because of what her forefathers did and the blame game that she plays it, it's absurd I don't want to hear nobody talking about Gabby being justified because she's not. She's not justified. I understand her perspective, but her perspective is not justified. It's not justified. And I get it. She's, she's, if, listen, if Falco can get it, she can get it. She has this one track mind about things. And I'm glad that she could have a conversation like this because the irony of it all that she doesn't even know that the girl that saved her is Gabby is the one that killed her. It's so absolutely absurd the way how she acts, bro. And, you know, the whole escape thing, as I said, is kind of like a writing convenience. I don't necessarily like that when it comes on to the writing of stuff because it just seems too convenient. They have one guard watching these two kids one guard in the, in, in the entire building one guard they didn't even show them escaping maybe when i check out the manga it'll play out a little different but if if it plays out different in the, when i go in and 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 you know read the chapters that they covered in in um in this maybe they'll exposition it a little bit more in the manga to not make it seem so so simple you get what i'm saying and i don't mind them focusing on, on gabby you know what i'm saying because i think that i think that she's gonna come around at some point because and it's not gonna be because of her i think it's because of her experience in the country and it's going to be you know falco you know trying to convince her in some way she's now she wants to go manhandle zeke <laughs> to find out why did he betray um marley she's still on that marley junk bro no matter what she will die for marley they have her brainwashed so much and it's the same thing because it's the same thing that reiner struggled with so much is just realizing how regular and normal these people are and we brought hell to them it bothered him because he became buddy buddy with these people and now he's having ptsd not just because of war but also because his he was killing his friends people that he became friends with he had to switch up because he had a mission it bothers you bro it bothers you the whole point of it all man and and to just see it how things play out you know what i mean like just to see how things play out here it's just not like it's it, it it's triggering a little bit man because i'm i'm just like no no matter what you know what i'm saying um in the beginning of the episode they talked you know what i'm saying at hanji um, they lock up Flock and a couple of them and they're, you know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of, it, it, it's like the allegiance thing that they were playing on in this. 
in the in this episode that I like. You know what I'm saying? Showing the perspective from Flock and the soldiers who, who are diehard fans, if you want to call them that. Soldiers of, you know, they don't care about how the job gets done. You know what I'm saying? They just happy that they, they got a victory. That, true soldiers, that's, you know, they celebrate the win. No matter how they get the win. You know what I'm saying? You know, even if, you know, people are sacrificed and people die, you know what I'm saying? It's collateral damage. You know what I mean? Um, as long as you don't break any military rules, you know what I mean? So they leaked the information about Aaron being locked up. So that's why she was kept out of the, the place and, you know, they were gathering at the gate because they're like, why y'all locking up Aaron? Because Aaron is supposed to be our quote unquote savior. Why are y'all locking him up? You know what I'm saying? Um, so you have those those diehard soldier for soldiers, but the thing about it is that people like Hanji, Levi, they they you know what I'm saying? There's protocol to doing things. And Aaron broke those protocols. So you know what I'm saying? If he wasn't crucial to the plan and he wasn't he didn't have the founders titan now with the warhammer titan and the attack titan like if he didn't have that stuff they probably would have they probably would have executed him already for treason you know what i'm saying because th that's those are just the rules he broke those rules he did this you know what i'm saying not on his own but he kind of forced them into doing this because he knows that he has the titans they're not gonna just kill him because they know without him you know what I'm saying? They could, you know, they are planning, hey, we could just inject somebody and let them eat Aaron. But how are you going to do that? <laughs> how are you going to restrain Aaron long enough for him not to transform and stomp out all of y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't put it behind, I would not put it from him, for him to do something like that. Like, just to stay alive and get the, the mission done that he's on. I would not put it past him. But it is what it is man like this anime is is something else it gets you riled up it really lets you think it's just so ironic that gabby ends up with the family that you know what i'm saying she just killed one of them and they don't even know they don't even know so that's that's cool that's that's i like that they did that um this this progression is is awesome man attack attack on titan is it's got to go down a, a, as one of the goats man has to go down as one of the goats just up there on a pedestal you know what i'm saying on, on the mount rushmore of anime man it's just it's 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 one of those you know what i'm saying um it, it's just a crazy way to think how that all gabby thinks but she was programmed to think that way you know what I'm saying? Because because they're like, we don't know anything about it. They don't know the history. You know what I'm saying? Um, Falco shouldn't have to. She, he doesn't have to apologize. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But that's how you feel because he understands. He's like, they were attacked. We attacked them. So we got to take some responsibility. We got to take some we can't just be like, oh, they just came over and just attacked Marley. You know, we got to take some of the responsibility because we essentially, we, di we did it first. You know what I'm saying? Yes, this thousands of years, whatever, whatever. The history is the history. The history is the history, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you disagree with anything I say, feel free to put it in the comment section. And also, man, Leave a like on the video, leave a dislike, whatever you choose to do. You don't have to agree with everything I have to say. Um, you might have a different perspective too, which I have to respect. So, hey, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabari Man. I'm out. Peace!